I think it's like very, very important to ask this question. Am I a servant of Jesus' church or am I a critiquer of Jesus' church? I prayed that you and me, we'd be able to offer hospitality and to serve Jesus' church without grumbling. Heartfelt. That's what I prayed. You know, this can express itself in so many different ways, in a host of ways. I don't really like this sermon series. Or, I don't like the guy who's speaking this week. Or did it last week. You know, I... Uh, you know, I don't like the lighting in a building. Or actually, why do we even have a building? Why do we buy it? And what do we need a gym for? And why do I need to wear a mask walking 10 feet through the, the, the lobby? You know, that, what's the big deal about bringing a cup of coffee in here? You know, anyway. Why are we talking about social justice this week? Or why are we not talking about social justice this week? Why are we thinking about hiring that guy or that woman instead of somebody that can be in my life stage or in my community? What's up with all this talk about hope worldwide or the season of giving or Paris or Africa or paying off the mortgage? And why in the world have we given a half a million dollars from our season of giving to a camp down the road from the University of Georgia called the Swamp? Listen. When you have legitimate questions and feedback and things you think could be improved or work on in the church, just let us know. Talk about it. Pray about it. You know, but never stop serving. You know, or giving or praying or being, you know, hospitable, you know, on this. If there's something, somebody or someone in the body of Christ that tweaks you, Maybe your thought or your idea or your input wasn't considered and seemed to be not valued, you know, in, uh, you know, in some way or there's something that bothers you, you know, don't stop trying to serve. That can cause some people to stop trying to really volunteer or to serve or to get chintzy or stingy about your giving or to be, you know, stop giving altogether instead of praying about it, communicating about it rolling up your sleeves and getting help. And that may make sense to some people on some level. I'm just not sure how that conversation is going to go 50 years from now when you have it with Jesus. Or when you have it with one of the apostles. Or one of those men and women who died and, you know, and torn apart, you know, for their testimony for Jesus and for, you know, serving. I say, God bless you, but good luck on that one. I, I know we all have our bad stretches. I've shared from time to time, even today, some of mine. We have our bad days, we have our bad months, we have our bad stretches. I think it's like very, very important to ask this question. Am I a servant of Jesus' church or am I a critiquer of Jesus' church? And you might want to ask your family about that. You might want to ask your close friends about it. Most of all, obviously, ask your, our Heavenly Father about, about that. <laughs> 